What's up everyone, Chico here and welcome to itechsociety.com screencast tutorial about visualbasic.net So, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a simple web browser So, first let's take a look at this web browser, I created this just now Now we are on Google, so let's try and navigate away from Google and go to Facebook go and so that's Facebook let's try YouTube go so this web browser can do almost anything that a regular web browser can do let's try to watch a video random video from the home page of YouTube and see if it's really working So as you see, it's loading, the video is loading, but my connection is freaking slow. So let's post that. So let's try the other buttons. We also have buttons here, the back button, the refresh, stop, and forward button. So we can forward, but we can go back to Facebook or the home page of the YouTube. So that's the home page. Let's try to um uh go scroll down and hit refresh. So that's it. It refreshes the website and try to move forward. That's the video that we have watched just now. Stop download. So let's start coding let's close that form or let's close this application and create our own oh hi Taylor oh don't look at me like that gee by the way Taylor will be having a concert this February here in the Philippines so watch out let's open our uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express Edition a visual basic and let's create a new project or just hit file and new project or just control n select windows form application and name our application with something related to it so i'm going to be naming it as its web browser well, I don't know exactly if the web browser comes in one word, but that doesn't really matter. Hit OK. And now we are presented with a simple form named Form 1. So first, let's try to uh, do the very basic or the most basic type of web browser that we can create. So go on our, your toolbar. If you don't have, just hit Control alt x and our toolbox will be av available so double click web browser and as you see our form will be filled with the web browser let's first resize this web browser or the form resize the form and select the web browser and first let's undock this web browser by clicking this little right arrow here and hit undock in parent so let's place it on our uh, form nicely I'm using my down button left and right the arrow buttons to fit the web browser so first let's set our home page to Google so that's google.com and let's try to run it and so it's loading now I'm sorry about my uh, slow connection but I'm sure it will load up so that's it that's Google Philippines and it is actually working we don't want a web browser like this of course we want something more unique or more complex but still this is a basic or just a simple web browser so let's close that and 
add some buttons to click. So let's first change the text of this button into go. And then change the name into go BDN. Let's start coding. So click this go button twice and you'll be presented with a pre-made private sub. So what we are going to do with this button is that every time a user clicks it or clicks the go button, our web browser will navigate to let's first try to google.com and once we press this it will bring us to Google so that's it that's Google Philippines again so let's try to change it with uh, facebook.com because our homepage is also Google let's try to change it into Facebook run it by pressing F5 wait for our uh, homepage to load and press go so that's Facebook and Let's add some more uh, things to our web browser. So that's actually perfectly running, but the the bad thing is we always have to change the value we placed in the go button. So let's add some things to our design, and that should be a text box. And this will be our address bar. So let's first rename it into address txt this will serve as the user input for the address they want to visit so let's double click the go button and manipulate some codes let's remove this facebook.com together with the double code and replace it with whatever will be the value of the text box or our address box you remember that our text box is named as address so just type in address and select address text dot txt so that is what we need from the address text box so let's try and run this program and let's type in YouTube no, not there. Here, youtube.com. Hit go. And as you see, it now works perfectly fine with whatever we want to type here. Let's also type itechsociety.com. Hit go. <coughs> Excuse me! And yes, it is now perfectly working. Of course, we want to add some navigation buttons to go back, forward, stop and refresh so let's close that again and go to our design and add some more buttons so let's bring this down to give space for our buttons and add some buttons I think about four so let's change its text property select text type in back for this one it will be a uh, refresh oh, let's change it to refresh that's it this button will be stop button and the other one will be forward and change the names also don't forget to change the name of the buttons or the objects change this one into back dot um no no back btn btn refresh ref, btn represents button this one will be refresh btn stop btn forward btn so let's start adding some codes double click back and type in web browser 1 because that's the name of our web browser go back yeah that's it 
and click on our design and refresh button type in web browser one the uh, refresh that's it for the stop we're going to use web browser one dot stop and for the last one it's forward web browser one dot go forward so that's it let's try running our program shall we so let's navigate to Facebook again my favorite page try to uh, go back to Google and forward again to Facebook and refresh so that's refreshed and stop oh no we can't try that but you can just do it into your application when it's running so let's try to maximize our program our form so as you see the form or this window and the buttons and the address bar is not properly placed when it's uh, being resized. Let's try to make this smaller. So you see, it doesn't look well. Visit my website, itexsociety.com. All the documentation you will need to uh, finish this simple application is written there. So that's it. It is Chikoy for itexsociety.com. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Share it to your friends on Facebook and other social networking services. Tweet us, rate us, favorite. So that's it. See ya.